Hey everyone! In this video I will show you the basic things to know about weights for your Sims 4 cast meshes. I know a lot of you struggle with this topic and it took me a long time to figure out how it works too, but as soon as I understood the basics myself, it's not that difficult anymore. If you want to see more tutorials on my channel, leave a like and subscribe to let me know. Thank you! For this tutorial I presume that you already know the basics of Blender. I, by the way, use Blender 3.3. You can find the link to everything I use in the description. So, what are weights? With weights you have the possibility to decide how your mesh behaves when a sim is moving. In Blender we have the weight paint mode for that. You will notice that your whole mesh is blue or has some parts in other colors like green or red. The colors stand for how strong your mesh will move. Blue stands for not at all and red for moves completely. Our sim model has a rig. That's basically the skeleton of it. You can make the rig visible by clicking on the eye icon. Now you see the different parts of the rig. If you go into pose mode you are able to click on the different bubbles and by pressing the R key on your keyboard you can move the body parts. If your mesh is not attached to the rig, it will not move. You can change this by going into the Modifier Properties tab and selecting the rig here. Now, here in the Object Data Properties tab, we have a vertex group list that contains every part of our rig that belongs to the mesh. For example, the top I use here has only the parts of the rig that belong to the top part of the sim model. If you have a full body outfit, the list will be longer. If you're making a hat, there will only be the head part of a sim model. Still in weight paint mode, we can now select something from the list and you will see how this specific part of the mesh reacts to body movement. Again, blue means not at all and red a lot. Let me show you how this works when working on a mesh edit. I take this bow from this dress and want to add it to my shirt. Looks pretty cute. Now I can either start my game to check out if everything is okay, or I can test it out in Blender first. This will save a lot of time. Because I put the bow on the chest, I want to see how it looks like if my sim is bending over. First I have to connect the bow to the rig in the modifier properties tab. The bow has still the weights from the dress, so it still behaves like this. If I move it now, you see it looks kind of weird. And we don't want that. You have now two options. You can either paint the bow by yourself, or you can transfer the weights from the top so they match fully. I suggest to transfer the weights. And if you're not satisfied with the result, you can fix it by hand. To tell you how this works in theory, just pick the correct part of the rig and draw on the model. By right clicking you can change the strength of the weight and you can also use other tools to get the correct result. It takes some practice to figure it out but now you at least know the basics of that. Back to weight transfer. Click on your base mesh and then control click the mesh you want to transfer the weights to. Go into weight paint mode then go to Weights, then Transfer Weights, choose Nearest Face Interpolated for the Vertex Mapping, and lastly you have to choose By Name for the Source Layer Selection. And now you're done. You can now also see that it changed the weight paint for Spine 1 immediately. If I let my model bend over again, you see that it looks way better. Now I can join my two meshes together and finish my project in Sims 4 Studio. It's not that difficult at all if you know what to do. You only have to keep in mind that the mesh that you transfer the weights from has to work exactly like the mesh you want to get to work. If you use a top and transfer the weights to a full body outfit, it will not get the results you would like to see.
Before I finish the video, I want to tell you something about an emergency solution. So, if you struggle completely with the weights of your mesh, you can try to use Sims 4 cast tools. I will put a link to the download into the description. Here you can open your projects and click one button that will make automatic weights for your mesh. As you see, this works for other things as well, but that's a topic for another video. I hope I could help you with understanding how weights work a bit better now. If you struggle with a project, I'm always happy to help you. Just join my Discord server and we can work together to find a solution. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.